Withering Heights. I'm still not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do here. I've been trying three one keys or four one keys into a either hero or klepto. I'm not sure if it's correct though. And I just go for combat one keys. I was thinking maybe I should do creep instead here. But I'm not sure if that's correct or not. Lemon is very known for their AV, <laughs> so I'm not surprised to see that at all. Do I just cap three points here? Wonder if that's correct or not. I do need another phobia up here. It's probably the cowbell, yeah. Makes sense. Could just straight up go over here and start hitting the heart with this one. None of them survive going to the middle, so I guess I'll just sacrifice this because the cowbell can do a little bit more stuff on this map. Whoops, I should actually put it up here. That's just better. That way I can kill them if they go to the middle if I want to, of course. Not sure if I do, but at least gives me the option to do so. The idea here is just to go very fast. I wonder if they just go straight up to my heart with the Eevee. They could do that. It's not like the cowboy is going to hurt them. That would make kind of sense to do. No, they aren't. So they probably placed a trap somewhere in that case. Let's go down here with this. Wonder do I move this down here or do I just hit stuff? I could do something like... Hmm... I think I actually take this point down here, and then I hit here and also take this point, and then I go Morty. Just to threaten the heart very fast here. There might be a trap here, or on any of these tiles out here also. This is just like pure pressure style, which makes a lot of sense to do on this map. Which is why I'm doing it. Do they take the middle? I guess they do. They don't want to fall behind in panic points. At least not too much. That would end up being bad for them. Why is that going there? Maybe they're summoning something to threaten this Morty. That's the only way where this would make sense to do. Yeah, they are trying to threaten the Morty. With these two. Makes sense. To be fair. I'm just gonna get a hit in and then move out. It's still a threat anyway. Like, they can't move away from that position then. And I can also just use the Morty to fight. This is just to force them to play fast. Also, all of this stuff right now is bad and too noxious, so I think I might bring that here. Could also go Hevo if I want to be rather aggressive. This Electro Cat is in order to prevent me from taking this top point. Which is a good play. Otherwise, I would have taken both of these points for sure. Actually, we can do this maybe. Then we take with this since it's countered by that, so we can keep the race amount around instead. Get a hidden, we move away. 
Probably want to put this racer mile somewhere up here. Something like that. We move this down here and we put the noxious in. Where do I want it? Just here? Seems fine. They can't kill anything of value right now. Oh, there's a trap there. Why is there a trap there? Because it makes some amount of sense. Not that much, though. That's a weird w place to put the first trap. I would have thought they put it, like, here or here. But I'm not gonna play expert on Poison Navy because that's what Lemon Vest is. They are extremely good at playing Navy. I can actually go in here again right now if they don't move down to defend here. Okay, now I probably can't because this would lob over. But I'm still gonna get some hits in. They let me do this. They may have placed a trap below me though. That's very likely right now, so I should probably only hit once at most. Or maybe, maybe even not at all. Maybe I should hit once and move away. Could go for maybe a Gargles play, but it's taking so long to get out there if I do that. I think I do this. Get a hit in here with the Razor Mouth. We want the Tickles for sure, because that's just too good against what they're bringing. Maybe we actually just place it here even. It's probably a trap here. Not certainly, but that could be. Could also be here or here or here or any place around really. What more do I want here? Could just bring this and do a big AOE thing. Don't know if I like that though. I think I want another one key somewhere. I can't place that in a good spot because this dies. Let's just put a bachelor out, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can only summon one more thing. Mm, do I do a bow or do I do something else? I think I do something else. Just a one key, maybe. Or we do actually just put the bomb in. I just want to have enough small phobies to recap some points here if, I, if it makes sense to do that. And they're also just good for combat if we end up in actual combat. Which we might. Who knows. Okay, that's the Hamatic. It's very strong here. They have a pretty powerful team now. But I'm gonna get a 7 key here. I might do Hebo 2.0 or I might do Mother Load. I'm not sure yet. Let's say I kill this and move up here and hit. Take this, take this. Is that good? This can hit me if I go up here. But I can't die. So maybe I'm fine with that. Could also poison it, maybe. Is it ever correct to just poison it? Probably not. This is still safe where it is. I kind of want to be able to hit further in. Maybe we do something like that. That way we can hit this no matter where it goes if it tries to attack me. Keep this thing in the back and then <clears throat> bring in the Hevo 
Betula is normally bad into EV, but it's fine here. Because I don't think there was much of a possibility of a trap being here. I mean, they can do some damage to this, but they can't kill it. And I can hit back with multiple phobies before I move around. Maybe they're trying to unit lock me? Since they're not killing this bachelor. I can always just nuke the bomb though if I want to summon something. Okay, they are killing the bachelor. Or maybe not. I don't know how much damage I can do down here. I should probably be thinking about that. 6, 12, 18, plus 4, plus 2, no, 3, that's 25. I can probably kill this actually if I want to. Can I kill this though? If they don't kill the bachelor, I think I can. That might be correct to do. Hmm. Let's see how much damage this is. Pretty sure it's enough. I'm probably stepping in some trap here, but what can you do? That's just life. When you're doing this kind of thing. I can actually move in with this also. Although not too far because the snowball can hit me. I don't really want that trade. This seems kind of fine. There might be a trap somewhere here though. I'm probably stepping in a trap here. But I think it's fine. You, like, I'm trading for the... Yeah, I knew it. I'm trading for the hematic so it's not that bad for me. It was very, very likely that there would be a trap there. The movements kind of indicated that. Could have also killed this Hebo and let the other one be poisoned, but they already had the Muffin out, so that didn't really feel like it made a lot of sense. Plus, I think they're kind of forced to maybe go in and hit some things, otherwise they are at least running away very far. Here. They could just double move. That might be what they do. They still need to kind of kill this though. I mean, this is going to die. Just a question of how, I think. Are they really not fully killing it? Guess not. Can only really reach these with the bomb. Maybe I just take the one key trade. Don't know if that's correct though. Can do some pretty big AoE stuff if I need to, or want to at least. Can also just do this. Trade for the snowball. Probably a trap there. Should I just bomb this thing? Or is there something better I can do? I don't think there is. Could kill this, but... Actually, can I even? Yeah, I could kill it. But is that worth it ever? Killing the Eevee here? It's probably not. I think. Maybe it is. Let's see. I might just try doing this. At least the Morty is doing something here. And then we want some heavy stuff very fast here. This one and... Where's Daisy? Probably Daisy. It's my best idea, at least. 
Maybe I should have gone for a healer. I also knew that would be a trap there. Which is why I put the tickles down there instead of one of the other ones. Good thing here is they need to go in with something else too to kill this Morty. Because Jinstin can't do it alone. So they're kind of forced to go in with this and at least hit from here or something. If they want to kill it. And then I can maybe move further in and kill this Jin's thing. Or I can at least fight them in some ways. But it's just a big AoE. Are they moving away with the Jin's thing then? Or are they just staying here? Letting the AoE? They're probably moving it away. There's no reason to stay, right? Are they taking that point? I guess it does block me a little bit. 6, 12, 18. And we have 7 more. 25. So I kind of need my... What's it called? Hebo 2.0 to go in here in order to kill this, right? Which is unfortunate because I don't really want to do that. And they're also placing anti-AOE, so maybe I don't do that. Maybe I go in over here or something. Can at least kill some things here. Which is just what I want to kill. Do I want to kill the... Evo or the Temptress? Probably the Temptress, right? Maybe we actually move in with the Bachelor even? No, we don't. Because if I move in with the Bachelor, they can use it to pull forward, and I don't like that at all. Let's move it down here, maybe. They can't kill this now, right? don't think they're able to. Even with this AoE, it's not quite enough. There might have been a better play there, but I think killing the mother low just puts me in too bad of a position. I would lose both the Hevo 2.0 and probably the Daisy if I did that, which I don't really like. And maybe just hitting the AoE here and then moving away with this after one hit. No, they gave up. I mean, I did have way more power on the board there at the end. They would have had to like bait me into some traps or something like that in order for that to work. They did very well defending though. Usually I p kill people very fast on that map. So they at least defended well. I think the snowball to protect me or like protect from the Mori was what made this into a fighting game instead of just me trying to kill their heart. Which is probably better for them. But I still won in the end though. I feel like player one is just very favored there. I haven't quite figured out exactly what I want to do on this map yet. As player 2. As player 1 I pretty much always just go for Repeller. But as player 2 I'm not quite sure. Maybe I still just go for Repeller but I bring a corn instead of the Numbskull. That could be a pretty easy other way of playing it. I don't know why people rush to the top here all the time. I feel like almost every opponent goes for something fast to go up here to this tile. As player 1, even as player 2 they often do that. Put like a murder wing or a snowball up here. I don't think there's any point in doing that really. Like that doesn't really do anything. The only like murder wing thing I've seen that I liked was putting it down here and threatening this point. But even that I don't think is that good of an idea.
really. They're just going in with both of them, I would expect. But they're just going to trade this into me, right? Unless they, like, do something weird. I feel like I'm just gonna sack the corn to kill the snowball when they do this, though. I guess they can kill this if I do that, though. Maybe I shouldn't do that, then. I could also just hit this a bunch. Like this. Let them have the snowball hit. Doesn't really matter. And then what do I want? Probably not a slow phobie because it won't be able to move out immediately. Since this is blocking the path. Could just go for Grave Digger or something. I think I will just go Grave Digger. Seems fine. Even if they get a free hit here on the Unicorn, their Bomangles is taking a bunch of damage and they are playing for some fast units into what I have, which is very good at dealing with fast phobies, so I don't think this makes any sense from their side. Oh, they're going to heal it. I'm just gonna keep bullying it though. It's a slow phobie, and I have a phobie with high range that is able to push. So I don't really need to care about it. Like, I can just walk up and hit it again here. I feel perfectly okay with that. This is a lot of phobies. They maxed out their board already. Can I just hit them like this? Yeah, now they're out of range of being able to kill me or anything. But just these. I can probably even walk up here. They can't kill it. And then just throw a stabby out, probably. Because it gets moved forward. And if they sit back here, we can just bang for something huge. While also bullying them with the repeller. I could even just go shovel and bully them even more. They need to sacrifice one of their one keys for the middle point, but that's pretty bad for them. Because if they do that, they are the ones taking the middle point first, first without getting anything from it, which you normally don't want to be. If you take the middle point first, you're kind of just down a key a lot of the time, because I just retake this and then we've both spent one key and I have the point. So it's not very good for them. I do have to move the repeller here, but it doesn't matter much that I do that. I'm not even going to summon the one key to take the point, I don't think. I could have, probably, but I don't think there's much of a point to doing that right now. Like, I don't need that to take the point, even. Okay, they're going to fireball that. That's also fine. Then I just kill the snowball. Unless they are bringing like something very strong out here. They may just erratic and put it on this block. That would actually not be that bad. Like move the erratic forward with the conveyor tile. Keep their bomb here or something or even down here. Mount Crushmore. Just to open up I guess. Could actually just kill this instead of the snowball. I don't know if that's better or not. I 
killing this is so damn easy though. You can just do something like this. And kill it without any problems. Then I guess I'll bring a one key here. Bring my own bomb maybe so they can't go in. And I still have the push up right now, so I can be annoying again the next turn if I want to. I don't think they should put the murder ring up here. Then I can snowball it after I destroy this block, or I can even just like walk up and kill it with this. And another hit. What if I just straight up kill this thing? Just do something like this. This makes it very hard for them to do anything, I think. This does get moved forward though. Which means this probably dies if I do that. But I can just bring a big unit behind it. That's very hard for them then to move out. Kind of weird to put the boss here because I kind of want, I kind of want the bomb to be there, but it's also good to have it standing this far up. So maybe that's correct. Having it up here is a lot less good, right? I think so. Maybe I should have put the boss up here and the bomb here. That might have been better. Because it's unlikely that the bomb will connect with anything while it's all the way up here. Could have also just swapped their positions. The boss will probably get a hit either way. I was just thinking if they bring a melee phobia, I want to be able to... What's it called? To double hit with the boss. Oh, they can't even kill this. That's definitely game over for them then. The only way they kill it is with a jar cannon. But like, if they do that, it's also just game over for them. I guess they can do that, but then what happens to these phobies is what you gotta ask yourself. I'm just gonna hit them with a big fire. I can kill all of this, I think. Pretty easily, even. Probably not this one, but like... This alone just... Destroys his phobies, right? Let's just take this point, because why not? Lock the bomb. Not that it matters. Oh, it needs another hit. I was thinking it would just die to the fire. But might as well just hit it again. I feel like way too many people go for a fast phobie there in the beginning like snowball or something up there and it just kind of seems like a waste on this map like you're just throwing away your advantage as player one where you can get a turret or something heavy out early on i normally do norm skull but you could also just bring a stabby or something and you can get it out onto the middle of the map very early to take control of it 
bringing a slow phobia like that means I can just bring or not a slow phobia a fast phobia with low stats there like they did with the snowball or some people do with murder wing like that just means I'm gonna put a turret out and they are not gonna be able to fight it because their phobia is less strong I don't think that makes a lot of sense to do keep on getting this map like over and over and over I've had a couple matches without this map, but they've all been like ones that I just not, I don't keep them. I don't upload them because they were bad, pretty much all of them. People either quit very early on or it was like they played very weird stuff, which is essentially just like them giving up and trying to get season games right when I say that they play weird stuff. This is 600. Should probably do cowbell up here. That way we can't get jar cannon or anything. That's the common answer. The ray. I mean, it makes sense. I have a cowbell up here also that you can go for. Some people would say I should go tickles instead just because they could go for an electrical. But I think if they go for an electrical, it's not even really bad for me, so I don't care. Should I ever just walk up and hit? I think I've had this thought before and I should just take the bottom point. Was what I came to the conclusion of. They can't walk forward here, right? No. That would be a terrible idea for them. They could just fly over and hit my Evo here, maybe. That's probably what I would be doing if I were them. Hitting it with all of these. Yeah. But I'm just gonna back off. Like, hit, hit them once and then back off. It's not a big deal. Might have to heal it, but who cares. There's an argument that I should have put a Jinx thing here instead of going for the Leprechaun also, just so they can't do this. But, eh, whatever. I like, I like just doing this. Because Leprechaun is so damn good. And if they want to play a bit fast, then they can do that. I don't think playing fast on this map is all that good anyway. I don't think I'm going for a tractor this early though, because they have these things in. Should probably just throw like a Hematic in here. Could also do Klepto, but I think Hematic is a better choice. Gonna protect this point up here so they can't take it for free also. And they're not going to kill the Cowbell so we can just move it forward to here. That way it's threatening them a little bit. Not really, but it's at least there. Very similar strategies, except they're trying to counter my stuff, whereas I'm playing a bit more like just generic strong stuff. I wonder if I ever just turn this ability off on the snowball. Probably not. Now we need another four key in here. I could do Gonzo maybe. That's a bit mech heavy though. Is that a better option maybe? Could just go normal ginseng. Could actually do Eevee. I think Eevee is not a bad choice here. Question is where do I place the Eevee? Could just put it up here somewhere. It's just because I want to bang a key for a tractor and I don't want to have like all of my keys in mechanical phobies. That would be annoying too. Really, are they going all in? 
seems that way. I can't kill it though. Okay, maybe they thought they could kill it. They definitely can't. The snowball would have to sit here to even threaten it, but then I would have done something different, right? So it's not exactly realistic or anything. Let's see whether they summon like a Tickles or a Cobble here, or what their plan is. Really? Moly bully. I guess that's just to scare this a bit. Though it's not really that scary. Okay, they are just going all in here. That's pretty interesting. I guess they think this isn't doing much and these are out of the match too, kind of. But like... It feels way too aggressive if you ask me to do something like that. Yeah, they're not doing it. This is pretty good for me though, because I can take this point back and it's pretty annoying for them. Just have to figure out what I do with this hematic then. Where do I place this? Up here? That's very far. Whatever. Just get the attractor in. Might have to go for a tank after this, like a Quagmire or something. Also, I think I should maybe move this up here just in case they try and claim this point. 5, 10, 15. Actually, I'm not really able to kill it, am I? Well, it's not really 5. Say 6, 12, 18. We'll need 17. Two, don't think I'm quite able to kill it, but whatever. I don't think they're going to actually take that with the Klepto. That would be very aggressive. Maybe I am able to kill it. I think I'm just a little bit off, though. Maybe I'll be surprised at how much damage it is. This is a 17... Hundred, and we have another seven and a half here-ish. That's eighteen to five, and then we have a snowball. I think I'm like one hundred damage off from being able to really do anything to this lepto. Maybe there was a better way of setting this up so that they couldn't do this, but I weren't really thinking about that last turn. Just going to test here that I don't have enough damage, right? Actually, maybe I do have enough damage. How much does my snowball do? Maybe this is enough. This is enough. It's very bad for them. Okay, it is enough by 4 health. That's extremely bad for them now. Then Can't really move this too far in. Could maybe, maybe move it up here, actually, though. This one, we can only move one forward. Then we have to move this somewhere also. Do I bring something... Probably bring a bomb here, right? Yeah, I think I do bring a bomb. Right behind here. Pretty good for me that they summoned the attractor down here, not up here. I don't know why they wouldn't summon it up when, like, over at the top when they're going in with the klepto there. But luckily for me, they didn't do that. I think if they had a, a tractor sitting here right now, this would be very bad for me, but they don't. Like, if they could have moved up here and pulled all of my stop in and double hit and stuff, would probably have lost me the game. But for some reason, they put it at the bottom, which made that play possible. Also, I, I just barely killed it. Probably wouldn't kill it on even level. I think I were over leveled by like one level or two levels on some of my phobies there. Which stat do I want to go for here? I think I might just do Grave Digger. I'm kind of tired of just doing one key plus unicorn on every map.
I could take the middle point here and just take the 250 damage on the Grave Digger. I wonder if that's correct. It might be correct to just do that. We could do that and bring in a spot if I want to, but I don't think that makes any sense because they're going to move this most likely. So what do I want then? Could just go for a turret based strategy or not a turret but a block based strategy. Bringing in the creep, I guess. The first time the Grave Digger hits anything, it's going to heal up the damage it's taking here anyway from the AoE, so it doesn't really matter. They can also just not hit me with the AoE, of course. Which is probably the correct play, because it's not really going to matter, even if they did hit me with it. sit there. This thing kind of has to go all the way down here then though. Maybe it's better to put this here and this here. And then what do I want other than these? I was thinking of bringing a bearable but that into this is kind of terrible. Maybe I just want a Gonzo. Could also have gone a Noculus even. But I think Gonzo makes sense. We can't really do the block based thing if they already have a creep on board. That would be playing into them a bit too much, I think. Can it die from going there? Or am I wrong? I feel like it does die if it goes there. Because I can that jar can and it and hit it with all of these, which I think is enough. I don't need to use the buff. I can just hit normally. That should be enough damage here, I think. It's of course not even that bad for them, but... Because, like, they can kill this in return, maybe. Or can they even do that? I guess they can disease it and then move away, which kind of kills it over a couple turns. It's actually pretty bad for them. They, like, they're not trading a 3-key for the 4-key and a point because this doesn't die instantly. It's gonna take some time so I can get more value out of it. Klepto. But don't they just disease it and move away? I don't think they should be hitting it. If they stay there, I just kill it. Should definitely have deceased this, I think. That makes a lot of sense to do. I guess not. They don't want to do that for some reason. Let's just poison this up here actually. Be annoying. Now that they have a lobber, or a whatever you want to call it, Klepto, which is a stronger lobber than my jar, it makes sense to me to destroy this block I think. Now I just want to open up the map a little bit. What more do I want here? Should I go for a normal turret or should I bank a little bit? This isn't dying, so if I do anything or summon anything, I end up unit loading myself a little bit. Which I don't think I do. Or at least I don't think I want to. I think it's better for me to just keep my options open. Kind of want to bring a Hero 3.0 in here just because I have a quest with it. Just get a couple kills with it so I can complete that quest before the next daily reset. That would makes, make a lot of sense for me to do. Just to get the cards. I mean they do just heal it off, which is fine I guess. The creep stayed alive so that's not that bad for me. That they're doing that. 
I think I will just go for the Hero 3.0 plan here. Does mean I have to play a bit more defensive here though. In this kind of setup. I don't really want them to just walk up and hit me here. That would be kind of annoying. I guess we stay back like this. Could also move this here. Move this here. Put the jar here. That's probably also fine. But nah, I think keeping the jar bag is better. Oh, and I should be hitting this just to remove it. Then I can just bring Hebo 3.0 next turn. And I still have enough keys to also bring a shovel with it if I want to. Which usually you do. Hero 3.0 really likes being paired with the shovel. The shovel or phantom and then a buffer. I think cupcake is by far the best buffer for it, but I don't have that. Wish I did. Because cupcake is still kind of broken even after the lock nerf. Before that it was easily the best phobia in the game before the nerf to cupcake. It was very very broken. Outside of like Release Shovel, I would say that's the strongest cut there has ever been in the game. But Release Shovel was also completely stupid, so... Like, I don't know how that even made it into the game. Now we just put this out here. Keep this around. The thing here is I can actually walk forward and place a block next turn, so they're forced to move back. Grave Digger also works very, very well with it. And I know they can move forward with the tick and disease me a little bit, but I really don't care that much. Like, these phobies are kind of useless to me at this point, anyway. I only care about the other ones. I guess they kill the creep. Don't even know if that's actually bad for me or not. Because now I can summon something. <laughs> So I don't know if I would be doing that for if I were them killing the creep here. Although if they don't, they do risk getting poisoned, so maybe it's correct to do. Because now I poison this. Since this is left alive. And my grave digger also gets to do a turn or two more. If I wanted to. Could even get a heal in from the with the grave digger. Which I think might be worth it. Just to have it last another turn here. Or at least possibly last another turn. Could I kill that without hitting it with fire? Yeah I can. This is probably better then, because then I can move this one step forward without standing in fire. The last phobia that I summon will either be Le Shovel, or it will be Clinical, or it will be... What's it called? A 3 key turret. I'm not quite sure which one is better yet. Letting the creep connect with the erratic is really bad for them here though. Like, I can straight up kill the erratic right now. If I want to. Which maybe I do. I'm not sure. Wonder how much damage I can actually do here because I can place a block and do double hit with Hero 3.0. If I want to. And this even takes the point if I do that. So that's pretty strong. Like, what if I just do this and hit them for a million? I feel like that's pretty good. 860 to each. I can actually just straight up kill both. That's kind of disgusting. In that case, I 
it doesn't really matter what I bring here, I'll just throw a Clinico in so that I can heal this after they hit it, if they hit it. This is already dead to the fire, but even if it wasn't, it would just die to a poison. I should probably have been focusing on getting kills with the Hero 3.0, because I think I needed four, and I think I've only gotten one. Actually, I didn't even get any so far, did I? Maybe I've got zero so far. Actual kills with it. But I can just get two here at least, and I just use Hero 3.0 one more time and it should be done. Because I don't think I killed either the Tick or the Klepto with it, even though I could have. Also now I've done all of the daily double stuff so I can get so much value out of this one. Like that is just a very very large amount of resources and I get to open all of these. It's both XP and a bunch of cards so that should always be worth it. At least at this level. I don't know if it's actually worth it if you're like newer to the game. Because then you get less value out of the daily double, since your jacks aren't upgraded as, as much. But the higher level you get, the better this is to do. At some point it's actually better to just not buy dreadful packs, unless you really want new phobies of course. And instead just focus on doing the daily double. But I don't, I don't play nearly enough for that to be worth it, but it's still pretty damn good to do. Also I think that was a Benny upgrade, right? Yeah it was. Can even get a tier pack actually. Because it also gave me a bit more than 1000 extra tiers there. Not that I get anything from tier packs, but it's at least some cards. And then I can upgrade the Benny, which I'm very excited for getting in higher level. Once this is like level 14, 15, I think it will actually be better than my stabby and boom angles a lot of the time. I think this card is very very good. The only thing I don't like about this opener is that people can take the middle point, but it's also not that bad. Like, let them go snowball if they want to go snowball, feel free. That's not that strong. I usually do either Hero or Leprechaun into an attractor either way, so I don't really care if they take the middle early on. Probably do hero here because Leprechaun is a bit slow. It would be able to just cap the middle with the Jinx thing if I went for Leprechaun right now. Which I'm not a fan of. That would be annoying. How far down can I go with this? Not far enough to threaten this from taking the point, which is a bit annoying. I could also just go for my own Jinx thing and bring a Wonky down here. How much was that? 5, 11. We can bring a Cowbell down and throw a Jinx thing into the middle. Seems fine. Then I can do the leprechaun into a tractor thing after if I wish. Don't 
can also kill this if I want to. They will probably defend it though. At least that's what I would be doing. Really, they're not taking the point. That's kind of interesting. They can't do that. <laughs> I mean, they can, but they would lose the Jin's thing, so that would be very bad. I'm just going to bring the Leprechaun. I think it's best to bring it up here. Or is it? Maybe better to bring it down here so I don't ever have to summon something if they choose to take a point. It has four range on the ability anyway. I don't really need to be close to them to connected. We're just going to move the grave digger out of the way so they can't poke it with the inoculus. I don't think I can ever go very aggressive here, can I? Don't believe so, because these are kind of also in here. Could probably kill that if I want to, though. Or I can just poke it. I can also try going all in, but not really sure how well it would work out here. I'm pretty sure it would work out very badly, actually. I think I'm supposed to hit it with the Leprechaun, but I don't know if I'm supposed to actually kill this. It feels so wrong to not kill it though, just to summon a tractor right now. Could just kill it and then bring something else by after it. 4.30. Hmm. Jakanen doesn't even do it though, unless I hit like this. And then bring the Cowboy in after. That's kind of weird though, then they could kill both. If I go all in by doing this up here, I think I lose my Jin's thing, which I'm not fond of doing. Maybe I just poke it and let it be. Just hit it once, so I can get my attractor out. I think it's fine. Even though it's annoying that they get to cap that point, but normally they would have taken that point without me even doing damage to them. Or doing much at least, so whatever. Wonder which 8 key they're going for. They have to remember that I can turn stuff off with my Leprechaun. That makes it kind of weird for them to go for like something like boss or something here. Because it would just immediately have the ability removed for several turns. Same thing if they go like Motherload or Hero 2.0 or something else like that. I would just turn the ability off very fast. They should be bringing something at least. Okay, it's a foul. That's odd. I think I'm just going to turn that off immediately. Definitely not dealing with that. Don't want to 
just have this get deceased. That would be annoying. Can just stay here. Seems fine. Move this forward. They can't even kill it. That's fine to do. Maybe I actually want this further down here. Just to have more damage nearby. Don't really think I'm supposed to go Akira quite yet, especially not when they have a foul out right now. Better for me to go for a console to buff my stuff, I think. I'm throwing this cowbell away, but I'm also getting a point and a bit of damage. But I just want it gone because I need to be able to summon something. I might go for Akira. Still. Just wait a turn. This does, of course, just heal up, but it's not a big deal. Okay, they're just trying to threaten my attractor. It would seem. I wonder if I can go aggressive and kill this here. I don't think so, but maybe. Maybe there's a way of doing that. Where I kill the Razor Mouth and then start hitting their stuff. They also need to start moving stuff here. That Razor Mouth can't stay there, for example. Is there a way where I can go in and pull them here? I pull on this. Maybe there is. The problem is just that in order to do that, I need to move it here, which I don't really like because then it's in range of these and it certainly dies. So that's not really worth it if I do it that way. What if I just pull here? It's probably not worth it either, right? I don't think I can kill, no. I was thinking of pulling here and then killing the Noculus, but I guess I just kill their things as a start here. This is the one cooldown, right? For one more turn, I think. Yeah, it is. It's fine then. Oh, I had to move this one down. I didn't do this correctly. I have to do it like this, I think. Wait, no, I can't do that either. I have to just hit it and then move this back. I have plenty of time still. I don't need to do that many moves. I think I will actually go for a... a soon tide here. Because it allows me to go into a Kira and it works fairly well in that lineup of things. Plus it also makes it very hard for them to go in, in any way. Kind of have to move this all the way up here now. Jack yeah, cannon. Oh, they, they were thinking of shelving it in so that they could kill this. The Tickles is so tanky. I mean, they are also slightly on the level, but Tickles is still very tanky. Guess they didn't want to play that. I think they would still lose there, though. Like, I just bring a Kira and sit back and do a combo and it's game over.
Ooh, is that an aggressive opener? It looks that way at least. So against this you kind of have to go double one key I think. But place a tanky at one up here. You can of course also do some other things. But I feel like that's the usual answer. Because that allows you to fight whatever they put out. And then do I just bring a corn alongside them? Probably do. Could also just bring another one key and put up here. Go triple one key into the aggressive opener. That way we can go inoculus next turn. Or another four key. That's kind of fine. I'm just going to trade back on this and kill it. can even take another point if I want to. Take the bottom or the top one, depending on what they bring here, of course. But they're just bringing bow. That means I should be able to take this, I think. Although I could get Jar Cannon if I do that. Maybe I actually do it like this. It's because the cowbell is tankier. And then we just bring in the Inoculus. Because it's very good here. That was me threatening things. Actually, I should be putting the Contortio where the cowbell was. That way I can go up here with it and then attack the Cassowary if they put the Cassowary up at the top. So I'm always able to kill the Cassowary if they want to kill my cowbell here. Which is pretty important to be able to do, I think. Just so that we can trade back if they want to actually kill things. If they do this, I'm just killing the Casuary 100% of the time. Probably just bringing a shovel also. Or maybe I should bring my own turret. This can't hit here. So this is... Well, it's not safe, but if they go in, they're going in with the casuary and the snowball, which is pretty bad for them. I think I might just bring a stabby in here. And then next turn I can shovel. Just to get the slow phobia out first. Because I do think I want a turret with this Inoculus. That just makes sense to do. Bachelor. Wonder if they're planning to try and like cap all of the points in the same turn to be aggressive. That is a thing you can do, like you cap all of the points so that the opponent can't kill all of their Ophobies while you take the points. And that way you can make a bit of an aggressive push like this. I could just go for a kill on that though if I really want to. It's really not that hard to do. I don't think I want to do that though. I think I'm actually fine just staying here. And we can bring this down here, I guess. Bring the stabby forward. Just put a shovel in. Because why not? Seems fine.
I mean, I can just kill that with the stabby and then retake the point if I want to. Can even claim some other points if I want that also. Could just double take the points here. That seems pretty good. To me, at least. I can actually kill this right now if I really, really want to. Don't think I do, though. Because I could push the Stabby forward and then hit it with the Cabal Stabby and twice with the Inoculus. Problem with that is that I would lose the Inoculus the following turn. Which I don't think is really that worth it. And I would also be going near the enemy Stimpad while they have a Casuary up there. I think it's better to just poke them once. Probably I even poke this, actually. Then we're just going to block with these. Actually, I should probably move this. Can't really move it down here, I guess. Guess I can just put it here. And then we want a six key. Which should I go for? I can go for pretty much anything here. They do have two slow phobies. Maybe I just blondie them. Don't really care that they have a temptress. That doesn't matter for the purpose of the blondie. It doesn't do enough damage to deter me from going for it. Okay, that's very aggressive. I guess it makes sense because now my blondie isn't as fast. Or I can't move it forward, whatever you want to say. I can't even really go forward with this though. Also, I think I can just kill one of these by bringing a snowball in. But then I can't really move the blondie anywhere but up here. Am I okay with that? Probably. I think it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Otherwise, I run into space issues, but this seems fine to me. Oh, that's not enough. Hmm. Guess I just won't kill anything other than the snowball, of course. Probably correct to put a bomb up here, but then I would have to like find some weird way of placing it. Maybe down here, nah. There's not really any place for bomb because their cassowary would kill the bomb. Although maybe that's not even that bad, then they would be running into me, so... That would probably be good for me. Anyway. The entire team is going to be debuffed if they try and stay here. Or I can just straight up kill their things. If they stay in range of the blondie. Because it does do a lot of damage still. 
outside of just the ability to debuff, it also has that advantage to it. Really, they're going for that. I guess it makes sense, it can one-hit the Inoculus, it does some damage to the Lundi and stuff. It's not all that bad. Which 4 key do I want into that? Daisy, maybe? Makes the most sense. I could also just love them. They they are still slow phobies, but I don't really want another slow phobie myself. It's probably better to just go for something with a bit of speed to it. Daisy is good because they don't really have the ability to step on it here that easily, at least. Like, it's pretty hard for them to set up. The next turn, I'm just gonna walk forward and debuff them with the Blondie. And then also hit them with my Inoculus from behind it while it's safe. I can kill that at pretty much any time I want. I think I'm just going to debuff these. And then hit the... probably the cassowary. Keep these the same. Could even just hit them down here, but nah. I think it's better to just do something like this. It's fine, right? I could also just walk up and hit them with all of these at the same time. Kill the bow angles. Wonder if that's correct. Just being aggressive here. And that way we can very easily kill this Sparky down here. Without it ever getting to fight my Blondie. Instead of it like going up and hitting me and they try and kite me or something. Because I don't have the shovel to move it forward. I guess they can step on the Blondie, but then they are spending their entire turn doing that. Well, not the Blondie, the Daisy. And if they step on the Daisy here, they just pretty much die everywhere else. Because it becomes very easy for me to kill things. I wonder if I should just... I think I leave the Stabby alive, actually, and just finish this Sparky. Like, the Stabby can be up there if it wants to. Just to kill the most stuff, otherwise I would only be killing this and the uh, Casuary and leaving the spark here alive for a little bit. This is debuff right now, so I'm not even really taking that much damage from it. And it's obviously very easy to kill with the Blondie if it's sitting next to it. <laughs> 